Welcome back to the Tide Gear Ram Hanger. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with a weekly news and review for August 15, 2021, 2021. And we have a ton of reveals this week in the Masterpiece Realm. We've also got a lot of reveals in the Mainline Realm. And we did have some event, the Fan First Friday. We're going to talk about all this coming up. All right, starting out, we've got a few cool things at Show Z. They have incoming right now their Fans Toys Soar. That's their version on Swoop. And it's only gonna be 220. All these other places are charging 300. And this is 220, 80 bucks less than I've seen it anywhere else. Maybe it's cheaper somewhere else and I just haven't seen it. But I think it's a good deal. And that's why I'm telling y'all about it. They've also got pre-orders up for two more of the limbs for Defense or from X Transbots, and this is the MX32, their take on blades, and it looks to be pretty good so far. Not a whole lot of pictures just yet, so this is kind of the image that was revealed, and now it's up for pre-order. And you can also pre-order the MX31 Paragon First Aid. So these do look great. Uh, they look outstanding in this render mode, so look forward to seeing how the transformation goes on these. But you can pre-order them right now, $2 down at Show Z. So getting into some Masterpiece news, there are a ton of X Transbots reveals this week. I did touch a little bit on it on Friday with a Friday video, but going a little bit deeper in here, this is the MX-12 G2 Gravestone. It's a G2 Motormaster revealed, and so we're going to need this guy if you're building your set for the G2. If you've been in on this G2 set, you're getting a lot closer to completing it because here we go. Here it is in the alt mode, and the colors look great. It's just an outstanding looking alt mode, and I've always liked... The alt mode on X Transbots, I thought it looked great. And that purple, that really does make it pop. Looks great. And then when it's transformed in the... There's the back. That's what it looks like. I mean, I've already got this figure. And if anyone's been on this set already, they already kind of been through all this. But now you get it in different colors. And I think they look great. And here we go with the trailer. And it's up for pre-order also. I mean, it's on Show Z. It's a $210 trailer. Uh, it's the MX-12 BG2 trailer. And it looks cool. It looks great. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the more or less combined mode. So here it is in, well, the combined mode without, I don't know if, yeah, I got the, got the cars on the back. So yes, it is everything there for the combined mode. And it looks good. Now, I do feel sorry for those of you who <laughs> waited out and only got the G2 and are doing this for the first time. It's a challenge. Just take it easy and you'll be fine. So here we go, showing the back of it, and this is the picture that doesn't show everything on it. And you can kind of see where things clip in, and you can kind of see how it's going to go. And that is pretty much the same as the first release, just different colors, and those covers, colors are quite vibrant if you've been keeping up with all these G2 releases along the way. We also got more pictures of MX4 Abaddon, and this is, we're talking early, early, early type of a figure from way back in the day that they abandoned abandoned the project and then now they're reviving it and here we are going to get it. So we got a lot more images today or in the past week. And here it is from the back and it does look pretty clean overall from the back. So a nice looking render so far. I like a lot of what I see. There, there's a little bit to be critical of but overall it's a pretty good looking version. It's a lot more fun to see a few comparisons comparing it to Fansoys. Now there's a couple of things you can't really tell. You can't tell the paint, you can't tell the luster and the sheen and all that. You just more or less a design comparison. And I do think it looks pretty good. It's pretty spot on. And I do want to say this looks so much better than their early prototypes from like five or six years ago. So I'm glad that they waited and held off and put this out instead of what they had going on before. They had going on before looked a little bit amateurish and this looks more professional. Huh. <laughs> Cheem has been putting in a lot of work this week with these pictures, so much appreciated. They look great. But uh, here we go with sort of a movie stance and a transformation stance and kind of how they look. I just thought it was kind of interesting that he went through the trouble to do that and do that comparison. Then we can compare up all of the alt modes here, and I want to say that from the movie, I actually think that the X Transbots looks closest to the movie in the alt mode but it's hard to tell it's really hard to tell and i try to do some screen grabs and just from the angles of the screen grabs it's hard to tell so it's going to be up to you and your own personal view of how you see it in alt mode and the back the render looks like it cleans up better in the back than 
uh, the fans toys and truthfully if the front is the best and there's a little kibble in the back it's not the end of the world to me I still love my MP36 and and that's got a ton of stuff going on in the back okay moving on to the X Transbots version of Perceptor and we call it Jansen or they call it Jansen and I did talk about this in Friday's video quite a bit if you want a little bit more comparisons and more ideas and thoughts and talk about it then you can go ahead and check that Friday video out but real quick touching on this I do think that the paint looks good and I like the color better on this one and when you do kind of like a side-by-side -side comparison to fans toys you can see there's a couple of things so uh, with this team comparison on the left you have fans toys on the right you have the X Transbot and a lot of people are saying the X Transbots the shoulders are bigger and wider or too wide then and the fans toys is better and more accurate and it's really kind of hard to tell which one is more accurate and comparing this to the Sunbow is just a waste of time you just really got to compare it to actual stills and screen grabs and all that kind of stuff but I do think they both look great I think both are going to be good options but it boils down to if you can't get Tesla at all or you're paying a ridiculous aftermarket price and you can get readily available version of X Transbots that thing's going to sell as long as it doesn't have any issues the other major major comment on this is just the massive amount of stuff that's included you've got a total of six different faces you've got three mini figures and then you've got a miniature version of him in his uh, microscope mode and a couple of extra heads and all the little glass things for mixing up stuff and all the guns just a ton of accessories and will that add a ton to the price so we're not quite done with X Transbots all the way we got some KFC which is which is Keith's Fantasy Club, and they're putting out more of their Junkion. So they, they've done Rekkar, they did a four-figure set, and then they did Junk Heap, Junkyard, whatever, and now we got six more. Now, this is this is just crazy that they're putting so many out. But the thing is, they always sell. They always sell, so they, they keep doing what sells. So here we go with the first one here, and it's Debris, and he looks pretty good. Here's the alt mode for Debris. Now, I hope I got all these correctly in order but um, you get the idea right so the alt modes look slightly different the bot modes look slightly different so you can have quite a variety on your shelf in your junkie on shelf this is the alt mode for uh, waster and that thing is interesting and it's different you got spike stuff on the back there and then here's uh, wasters uh, was it waster delta and here he is in his bot mode so they all look different they all look pretty cool uh, just so many of them this is uh, Smith Smithereen, you gotta blow you to smithereens with this guy here. So it's interesting how they all have some sort of different take on them here. This is the all mode to Stogie. Uh, Stogie, y'all know what a Stogie is, right? So there's Stogie and kind of the yellow. And so they're all painted a little bit different. So they all have their own personality and all that kind of stuff. Now, the one that really caught my eye that I thought was really cool was the, the toe cutter. And this is. A cycle now if you missed out on the action robo DX I, I think that's what it was I gotta look that name up but they already came out with one there was one that already came out with for about 120 and these are all 120 and that one looked really good as a version of Psycho but this actually looks like a pretty good version of Psycho also so it's gonna be taller but this was gonna be a true masterpiece scale and the other one was only about uh, six inches tall and I think these are gonna be closer because I have Rekkar he's more like eight inches tall so this is gonna be almost two inches taller than the one that came out before for the exact same price but it's a little bit less accurate I would say to Psykill but it still looks good uh, the cycle mode is a little less accurate to Psykill but still looks good and it's still better than that thing that uh, was it DX9 did one okay so we have fans hobby coming out with their MB 6 d orange power baser it's a fire guts Genrai and it's it's orange so it looks pretty interesting if you do something well I guess keep doing it right so here we go with the actual base for the power baser here and you have to repaint what they've done before and since they've got the D on it I mean uh, they've had several other iterations in the past I do look at the chest and it looks like it's kind of a, a blue back metalized but it may not it looks really shiny I kind of like the way that looks and then here's the alt mode and it's strange how you've got one color on the the chest and then the windows are different because that's the different bot so still it looks great it's what they've done before and it's recolored into orange so 3-0 has shown off their 
promotional image of their Bumblebee. It's the MDLX Bumblebee. And we first saw this at the Hong Kong show earlier this year. And this is just more of what you got to see, but now it's with some color to it and in a dynamic pose and all that stuff. And we do know that they do great work and it's gonna be uh, non-transformable and it's gonna be highly articulated and all that great stuff. But here we go with a, a solid, solid contender. And look at the foot. When you look at the foot, it almost looks like this thing transforms. So Came Toys came out with some renders of the CT Shayu 05 Thor Gorilla. And this is part of their Predicate, which is a surprise. But anyway, it does kind of look like it's inspired by Beast Wars in a way. And it's definitely stylized in a stylized version there. But it's interesting how they, they just kind of pulled this out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. So here we go with it in its uh, bot mode. And I think the bot mode looks really good. I think both modes look pretty good. If you take a stylized take and hey, if this is what you want to be, maybe your optimal optimist or something like that. But still, it's for the Predacon team and it's gonna be interesting to see how the set shapes up. Okay, since there's not much Legends news, really, not really Legends news this week, I wanna talk about this Kickstarter from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. It's a chess set. And when I first heard the price tag, 600 bucks, I was like, what? Like, I'm out, <laughs> I'm out. But there's actually different tiers and all this stuff, so I'm gonna talk about that real fast. But at 600 bucks, you're getting the standard set. It's the target with uh, a board. You're gonna get the board. You're gonna get a total of 32 uh, characters that are chess pieces and 16 on each side, good guys and bad guys, and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's kind of the basic of it. So you can back it for 10 bucks and you'll just get some exclusive pin badge. And so that's something, a thing, if you spend 10 bucks. At 50 bucks, you back it, you get a pin, and you get an Optimus Prime chess piece. So it's kind of interesting that, hey, you want to, you want a bit of this. You Maybe you're not going to have the whole thing. Maybe you're not going to get the whole $600 experience, but you just want one chess piece to put on your shelf or something. So that's kind of, I think this is going to be the most popular part of the backing. And then, of course, at $600, uh, you're going to get this one here where... You get a, uh, the, the badge, the exclusive 272 page booklet that really talks about characters and all that kind of stuff. And then you're going to get the board and you're going to get the 32 figures or figure X statues more or less. Do they call them figurines? Okay, at 650 they're going to throw on top of that a Galvatron, the replacement king. So this could be an extra king. So it'll have to be on one of the sides there. So that's like an extra. You'd have to go the extra mile to get that thing and for 700 you get a replacement Rodimus so so it's kind of tiered as you can see so you can spend as little as 10 and as much as 700 and we're not gonna waste any more time we're gonna get right into this mainline stuff here because there's a bit to cover and I have to say there's a lot of news information and even some rumors this week popping up but what was official from the Hasbro's mouth is Perceptor and I think we sorely need a Perceptor I mean we've seen him on rumor list but now that we see him in person he looks good now we've got fast toys coming, we've got x Transbots coming, we've got a mainline that looks fantastic for a mainline release and for it to be the deluxe scale. And yeah, the price is going up on it too. It's it's a $23, uh, supposed to be $23. Everywhere I'm seeing it's pre-order aside from Pulse is $25. So anyhow, uh, does look great, looks good. Have not had a decent Perceptor since Titans Returns, which that one was good, but a lot of people complain that Perceptor never was a headmaster. Here we go with his alt mode. His alt mode looks great. Uh, just, I mean, like I said with X-Transbots, it's really hard to screw up a Perceptor, right? Like, that's one of the easiest figures on the planet to make and transform. And, again, it looks good. But uh, there's another third mode I'm not going to bother showing because, it's, to me, it's not a real mode. But here's the packaging, and we still have a small window for now. And so when we get to the Starscream, we ha I'll make some comments on the new packaging. But there it is for now. One more interesting thing about this Perceptor reveal is that he's one of four figures that are going to be in an assortment and they don't know the other three. They haven't revealed the other three. So that's really interesting yet concerning. I will link down below to an Amazon listing where you can pre-order it. If you want to pre-order it, make sure you don't miss out. So I've got mine coming no matter what. I think it's going to be really hard to get this guy. So getting into Starscream and Leader Class. The Leader Class Starscream is going to come with a coronation set and all that good stuff. His hands are now going to open and close instead of just be formed as round. And there's going to be a few other improvements that they make to it as some paint apps and stuff here and there. Now the $50 price point or $53 price point, 
whatever, uh, price is going up. He comes with the throne, and I think he can store all of his stuff on his throne there, like his cape, and the coronation stuff can store on the throne. But, like most people that I've heard talk about this say the same thing. They're probably going to use it for Megatron. Like, why would they use it for the Starscream? They'd probably use it for Megatron. But it's an, it's an interesting little add-on there. But I know that these Seekers are so popular, especially the Earthrise Seekers, extremely popular. So here we go with his alt mode, and they said they cleaned up the coloring of it. They added a few things with the... Uh, accents right on the very back the gray accents and all those things so i think it looks good i think the original one looks good too but i don't think you're really missing out and i'm probably just going to pass on this now i'm predominantly a an in-package collector for mainline stuff you know like mainline star wars i like to keep in the package my mainline transformers for the most part i keep in the package or i buy a second to open if i decide to do a review on it or something like that so for the most part i'm an in-package collector i don't like the idea of losing the ability to see my product and they're doing that with They've already done it forever with Titan class. They've done it with Commander class, and now they're doing it with Leader class. So as we keep going, like when will we completely lose all the way down to to what Core class is going to come with no plastic? I mean, where where, where does it stop? But anyway, uh, this is where we're at now. They say, oh, we can show the beautiful artwork. I'd rather look at the figure. Here we go with Scourge, and well, not Scourge. Nope, nope. Sweep, sweep. It's a it's a recolor of Scourge, and it is a little bit different coloring than Scourge and a little bit different. Um, they still go to the same manicurist, so so don't worry. They have the same manicurist. They both have the, the pinkish, purplish uh, color of nails going on right there, and they're really long, too. So, But it, it does look good. I mean, I thought it was a good figure. I've had mine so long, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that he's a, a Voyager. I thought he was a Deluxe. I'm like, oh, 30-something, like 33 bucks everywhere? Uh, here's the alt mode, and still, you know, same figure, pretty much, and nothing really new. But you get to have a slightly different version, and this one they expect probably people to buy multiples of. Um, there he is in his packaging, so you can see when he's on the shelf, like, this is the one. This is the one that I'm looking for. This is the droid I'm looking for. Okay, so we got pictures of Deluxe, Kingdom Deluxe pipes, and so here he is, and he's just a blue repaint with a remolded head, and probably a few different things going on here with him than we got with the Huffer. The Huffer seems to be the best Huffer that we've gotten in mainline so far, and it doesn't surprise me that they're going to recolor it to pipes, and it makes a lot of sense. Here he is in his alt mode, and the alt mode looks good. If, if you like the Huffer, you're going to like this figure. So we got a buzzworthy Bubblebee Cyberverse 4-pack, and I personally am not interested in this thing at all, but it's starting to show up. But I have not seen the one that has Fangry in it anywhere. And so I'm just wondering, is that thing going to be really hard to get because I know that a lot of the Buzzworthy Bubblebee stuff doesn't sell well and if it doesn't sell well they don't make as much if they don't make as much is that gonna be the rarest thing for the whole year the one that has the finger in it it's a very big possibility we're seeing a lot more pictures of this red version of Megatron as transformation is purple I do love the purple uh, I love the translucency of it would like to see like some light shining behind it see how how translucent we can make this bad boy look but it looks like that hands pretty translucent so Overall, I think they did a pretty good job with it. I mean, considering what they're doing, the, the checkerboard pattern is not exactly correct, but you get the point. You get the point. You see what's going on, and will they do a, a, a Galvatron like this? That would be awesome. I guess I should have talked about this right after I talked about that Buzzworthy stuff, but this is a Cyberverse Roll and Change Optimus Prime, and here's the thing. There was some question about how it automatically transforms. So basically, here's what it does. You, you put him in his alt mode, and then you push down on him, and then he pops up, more or less, and transforms automatically. It's a good idea. It is kind of cool. It is kind of interesting. Not nearly as advanced as I thought it would be. I know that they had some, that you kind of flipped the arms and rolled it into his transformation. That was a thing. That was a gimmick. Now this is kind of a reset to alt mode and pop it up kind of gimmick. So we're finding the $50 statue from Pulp Pop Culture Shock G1 at Target, and I don't know if this is exactly the same one that we had at GameStop. I think it is, but most of my GameStops have them out of the packaging, so I don't really see the packaging anymore. So that's one of the things that they do at GameStop is keep them in a case behind glass, and it's better. It's easier to see and all that kind of stuff. But anyhow, if you don't want to get a GameStop and get a Target, well, there it is. So we're on to the Beast Wars retro or the retro style, sort of the vintage style packaging. And it's out in the UK. It's not out here in the US that I've seen just yet. But I want to make a quick point about this is the fact that they stopped, they cold stopped 
vintage style or actual vintage molds of the G1 that moved on to Beast Wars. Now we still get some kind of vintage style G1 packaging with modern figures in it with the Headmasters and we don't know if they'll do that again or not. But how well will the Beast Wars go? Will these things sell through? Will these be clearanced out everywhere? Who knows? I'm actually interested in finding out how well this sells. All right, so what's on the reveals list this week? There's a lot of reveals on the reveals list. Some we've seen and heard of before, and some are just, they make sense, right? But here's the Leader Dragon Megatron, so Red Dragon Megatron. That's my favorite version of Beast Wars Megatron, and I'm going to get it. That's all there is to it. Armada Starscream, and I think we've gotten a couple iterations in the past, but 30 bucks, it's not going to be that big. It's, it's, it's 30 bucks is the Voyager scale. Soundwave 999, so are they carrying over the same exact Soundwave that they already had in Core Class, just putting new packaging? So, and a lot of this stuff is for the Evolutions packaging. Uh, the Inner John Monster at, at the Core Class 999 price point. So I'm interested in seeing what that looks like. Will that be Crimsy? Probably not. Bulkhead 2999, so the Bulkhead's going to be a deluxe. And so there's the first set of reveals. Here we go with Tarantulas for $22.99. We knew Tarantulas was coming, and we find a, a kind of a confirmation of that. Skids at $22.99, and that's going to be Deluxe also. A drag Strip at $22.99, that's Deluxe. And so we're starting to get into a couple of characters for a, for Minasaur. So getting into that. We got a Studio Series Ratchet and a Studio Series Rumble. So that's $8.49. So interested in seeing... What's going on with that? <laughs> I mean, what's up with that? The kickback at 29. Now, this is going to be exciting because the previous versions of the Insecticons were with Legends, which is kind of what Core Class is now, but Legends. And 29.9, a deluxe scale, so it's going to be bigger, much bigger, and much bigger than the Vintage version, so that's going to be interesting to see how that comes out. Uh, Studio Series uh, TF3 Laserbeak, and then Wheelie. And so, kind of confusing to me about these what's going on with those and I, I can't wait for pictures on these things pictures worth a thousand words uh, a $30 blaster which of course we've heard rumors of but more of a confirmation here so it's gonna be in the Voyager scale and then we've got Ravage at 849 so are, are these is that gonna be like one cassette Ravage I, I don't know I don't even want to guess on that Inferno at 29.99 is that a carry over a carry forward and RC again like come on this is the third time they've done RC now this set of reveals is the most confusing and maybe the most exciting at the same time. So we've got Soundwave at $29.99 and a Soundwave at $26.99. So there's two different price points of Soundwave and this is a Voyager. Now, what are they gonna do with the Soundwave? Are they gonna bring the Netflix forward and they're gonna just without the tapes, without the cassettes? Is that what's gonna happen? And are we gonna buy the cassettes separately as what the other things were showing? Uh, who knows? Uh, it's just interesting. Starscream again at twenty nine ninety nine. Like, is this going to be Starscream when we have a masterpiece? Or not a masterpiece, but a, a leader class at the same time. We got a Skybite at ten ninety nine. We've got a Galvatron at fifty, which we knew was coming. Uh, we've seen a lot of that. And then we got Optimus Prime forty nine ninety nine, which I'm I'm curious about that one. And then we've got a ten ninety nine core class. So lots of reveal confirmations, and we've got a big year ahead of us. Certain Affinity is talking about a third-person shooter game for Transformers Rise. You know, it's going to be the rise of uh, whatever. So, one thing is the Fall of Cybertron game was probably one of the best games made. That was there was War for Cybertron and then Fall of Cybertron, but that 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 game was a really good game. I really enjoyed playing it. And I kind of hope that that we get that kind of gameplay in this. All right, so moving on to other news, uh, there's a YouTuber called Shaneology, and he kind of dresses up Skeletor, and he says Skeletor kind of things, and he watches the new Revelation series as if he was Skeletor, commenting on it. It's kind of funny. It's, it's hilarious. Just flat out. He does a great job, great impression, all that stuff. So check him out. I've been laughing about that all week long, and told him I'd give him a plug. He did such a great job there. So uh, looking at this here, with the Motu Masterverse Wave 2 coming out with Man at Arms, Tila, and that's not the Tila I know, so I, I don't know. <laughs> then we're going to get a Spike or a Beast Man. So these designs are a little bit different. I think that the Man-at-Arms is really, really close to what I would want out of Man-at-Arms. And I don't know much about Spike or, but uh, this line is actually better than I thought it'd be. My son wanted a couple of figures because he saw the show. He's like, hey, I want some figures. 
and they're better quality. They're really good quality. And I've recently picked up a bunch of classics, so uh, I, I really like the classics. I mean, the, this is not classics, but it could be. They could have made this classics. They chose not to. Uh, also, the other thing that we still concerned how to get my hands on a faker. Hopefully it shows up at retail. I heard that was like an exclusive kind of thing, but it's still showing as something that should be uh, throughout retail. So I'm hoping to get a target or something, but uh, the faker looks cool. I like what they did with it and it's a little bit different. It's, it's more realistic of a faker than just getting a, a, a weird kind of different recolor. And one more thing about Masters of the Universe, the Origins Wave 6, uh, that was up for pre-order BBTS, sold out really fast. I do want to say, it's due out in September, I think when when they fill the pre-orders, they'll see what's going to have left, and then they'll put some up for sale. But the prices are just shooting up on these, like they're wanting like almost 18 bucks a figure on these. And I'm starting to wonder, I'm starting to have a little question on whether or not the Origins line is going to continue. What else do they have in store? What else do they have planned? Because there's nothing else announced. There is nothing else that I've heard about Origins. And they've only got about a year and a half left of the license. So really not much going on in Star Wars right now. My son and I, we went out and we set out to look for a Wreck Gar Transformer. He wasn't excited about, but he got super excited to find a, a Wrecker. <laughs> instead of Wreck Gar, a Wrecker. So uh, he's really happy with this figure. It's pretty big, but I really don't think it's worth the... 30 bucks but guess what we see a price increase this thing's gonna be costing 40 bucks pretty soon so according to yakface.com the new official price of the Star Wars Black Series figures is gonna be 25 bucks the MSRP of 25 bucks for standard figure exclusives will approach 30 so an exclusive will be like 29.99 and then deluxe uh, figures so deluxe figures for Star Wars means they're bigger and a bigger packaging, and they'll be 40 or around 40. That's what we're hearing here, and it doesn't surprise me. I mean, we really haven't felt the full impact of the $3 price increase. Now we're going to add two more to it, and all around, but well, we've already been conditioned with $5 more for a lot of these extra figures over the past year. Like, like the gaming grades are more expensive sometimes, which oddly enough, those have kind of fallen right in line to regular pricing, and then we've seen. Some of the carbonized versions get an extra five dollar bump and all that stuff so they've been conditioning us for this all along and it's not really a shocker but i gotta tell you that the people like myself that usually buy in triplicate might just not buy at all so we've gotten to see the series finale or season finale i guess of the bad bats and it was okay I, it was okay i think that it kind of dragged on for a few episodes of not much going on just kind of a, a romp in the star wars world which is sort of fun but it ended pretty big in a way, so I do not know if they're going to do much more of this or they're just going to move on to the other 15 projects they've announced but we haven't really seen yet. So I do look forward to more Star Wars stuff, but I have to admit, I used to check Star Wars news daily and I, I think I only check it now for this news segment. So let me know what you think about this week's weekly news review. What else is going on out there that I missed? Because I like to stay up on everything that's going on. Like and subscribe. Tadirim Hanger, out.